Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to use custom photos widgets in iOS 14. And I've got a few different options for you. And you can pick the one that you like the most. The first one is literally just the stock Apple Photos app. So you can long press the home screen anywhere that there isn't an app and you'll get this menu up. Then you can press the plus button in the top left hand corner and it's gonna take you through to the widgets menu. So you can actually just go to the Photos app. This is Apple's stock app. You can just press this one and you can choose either a small, a medium or a large widget to place on the screen. And what Apple's gonna do is they're gonna basically search through memories and featured photos to basically give you some photos that you can look at. So you can press add widget. It's gonna add that right onto your home screen. You can then press done. And what's gonna happen basically is Apple is just going to scroll through your featured photos and also some memories kind of at a random way. So you can't really choose them. Apple will just give them to you. So you may want some more control over what type of images come on your screen. You can use custom photo widget. I'm gonna click on this one right here. It's actually really easy to use and it takes you through the steps. I'm just gonna X out of this one because I'm gonna teach you right how to do it. Really easy when you're in the app, just press the plus button right there and it will take you through to your photos. So you can just choose these photos. I'm gonna choose the first one in the top left-hand corner. It's gonna add it there. Also, if you want more photos, just press the plus button again and basically choose up to 30 images. So I can press the plus button once more choose this image here. So I've got three images on there. And what's really important with this app is that you have to choose the settings in the top right hand corner and it will have a photo refresh interval and it's set at never by default, which means it's never going to refresh through your images. So you can just go in and choose that. So maybe you want a five minute refresh interval. So every five minutes, your photos will change. If you're happy with that, you can just swipe down out of it. So I've got these three images and they will refresh every five minutes. If I swipe out of this app, what I now have to do is go and add the photo widget onto the home screen. So I can long press on the home screen, go to the plus button, then go and find the photos widget. And actually it's right here. You can see photo widget in the bottom left. If it's not there for you and you can't find it, literally just go to search widgets and type in photo widget and it's gonna come up right for you there. So I'm gonna click that. Then you can choose the shape of the widget, either a really big one, that's four by four. This is four by two and this is two by two. So I'm gonna click add widget there, press done. You can see it's got that awesome photo that I had and it's gonna scroll through those three images all the time at five minute intervals. So that's different to the Apple stock photo widget. Another really cool one is photo box widget. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner here. So I'm gonna click on that. This is really simple. You can choose small, medium or large widgets. So there it is. I'm gonna choose small for right now. Then all you have to do is click on select image. It goes right through to your photos. So I'm gonna click this cool image of a boxer here. You can actually reshape and resize images in this one, which I think is really good. So you can make it really specific. So I'm just gonna click on this for now. Click choose in the bottom. That's one image. You can actually add a text overlay as well, which is pretty cool. So I can just write cool with some exclamation marks or something like that, press done. And that's there. You can then change where that is on the screen, wherever you want. So maybe we'll have it there. That's pretty cool. That is now done and selected as a photo box widget photo. So as you can see, you can go to next image. So I'm gonna do that and I can click and select another image as well. So I'll just click a second one here. This is fitness oriented. So yeah, choose that one. That's really great. So I actually have two images now and it's not the most intuitive this app, but you do have two images. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you can actually see there are two dots here. So if you swipe left to the first image, it will show you the first image. If I swipe down, swipe to the other image on the right, then you can see it comes up with that second image. So I can swipe out of this app. Again, I'll touch anywhere on the home screen to get the menu up, press the plus button in the top left-hand corner. And it's actually right there for me because I recently edited it, photo box widget. So I'm gonna click on this one, click on, yeah, the add widget, that's fine. This size is fine for me and it's right there. They will actually change as well. Again, it's like a five minute interval. I think they say maybe 10 minutes. Yep, 10 minutes at random, it will select any of the photos that you add. So you can add a ton in here. It's gonna scroll through them.
The next one I want to show you is Widget Smith, which is a really cool widget app. And I've basically added some in here already, but I'm going to show you how. So I'm just going to go and delete all of these widgets and even the large widget. I'm just going to delete it. So you have small, medium and large. I'm just going to do a small one to show you so you can add small widgets. It's going to come up with this stock calendar widget. So I'm just going to press this one. Then I'm going to press in the middle of this calendar right here to come and edit it. You have loads of different options. But I'm going to go down to photo, click on photo, then click at the bottom selected photo. You're going to have to click on that and it brings up a second menu. Choose photo. It's going to take you right into your photo library. I'm going to choose this really cool looking flower here. Once you're done on that, what you have to do is basically swipe this menu down. So where it says default, you see up there, literally just click on that and slide it down and away. And it's right there for you. So you do have the small widget now. So come out of this app, long press on the home screen, press the plus button in the top left hand corner, find Widget Smith. And I've actually got a medium widget from Widget Smith here right there, but I don't want that one. So I'm just going to click widgets search and type widget smith and yeah it's right there at the bottom so i'm going to click that click on small that's the one i want and then press done you can see it's got the calendar here so this app is a little bit buggy it sometimes doesn't really display what you want it to so you have to muck around with it so maybe if i just long press on this click edit widget click on this small one it's kind of not there i don't really know why so i'm just going to click on it again come out of it there it is. So it is a little bit buggy, this app. So just make sure you do play around with it and try and kind of refresh the settings and it's going to work for you. That's how to add loads of custom photos, though. You've got Widget Smith, Photo Widget, Photo Box Widget. They have some different options, as you can see, in terms of rotating around different images. And of course, you have the Stock Photos app that is just going to give you featured photos as well. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.